hi guys welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are all doing great okay um first of all before i go ahead i want to say a very big thank you to you guys all my subscribers thank you guys so so much okay for always supporting me for always stopping by thank you guys i cannot thank you enough that's the truth i can't thank you enough. thank you so so much and if you're new to this channel you're welcome okay and please don't also forget to subscribe as well okay and remember very important to turn your bell notification bells on because that's the only way um, you will get notified every single time i upload my weekly videos so um it's going to be um a full length dress fitted one and an off shoulder dress as well a princess that um a bustier, okay with a v-neck why the lower part which is the skirt part is going to be a pencil skirt so in my previous video, I, I did um, a pattern on how to draft out of uh, this princess that um, cut, the off shoulder one. So here it is. I'm going to link it um, in my description box. Okay, so you go ahead and watch it. It's very short, um, detailed, and well explanatory. And for the lower part as well, also a very, very short video as well on how I created this pattern for a pencil skirt. So this one was actually um, for a shorter one. And just like I said there, all you need to do is to extend it to any length you want, whether it be the short, a three quarter, or even a long um, a skirt. Any one, you only just to um, extend the length, and it's quite um, easy as well. Okay, yeah. So I have this all linked up. Okay, so you can go ahead and uh, you know watch it. So what I'm going to do, the beauty of this why it's a pattern. All I'm going to do is just to transfer all this uh, pattern to uh, my fabric. I'm going to cut it all out. Okay, and. Uh, you know join the piece together so um the main concentration for today's tutorial i'll be showing you how i created the draping because the front skirt is going to have a draping and also a flounce okay yes i will show you how i'll create the draping on the skirts and also the flounce as well okay so what i'm going to do is to go use my patterns cut my pieces out and um, join it all together then i'll come back to show you how to uh, you know make the draping on the skirt and also the flowers as well okay yes so when i was done this was what i have okay and uh, this was the back piece of this dress you can see the upper part and the lower part as well which is the skirt part and um, it's also going to have a slit but i've not um, opened it so i just held the slit part with a pin okay so that when i'm done joining the sides together then i can you know open it all up so this is the back piece of this dress, okay? And also, this is the front piece as well, okay? Yeah, so what I'm going to do now, so here is the skirt part, here you can see. So where, this is the part where I'm going to be fixing um, the draping and also the flower. So here's the thing, um, although I've joined this, the, the upper to the lower part already, so I'm still going to loosen it all up. After fixing my draping and my flounce, then I would sew it back in, okay, so that all the rough edges, if there will be, will be hidden, will be hidden inside, okay, yes. So for creating this draping, I'm also going to use the same uh, flame, flame fabric that I used to line the skirt, okay, yes. So I'm going to cut out a piece that I will use to show you how to create this draping. So in making my drape here, I have here a piece of this, this plain fabric. What I have here is, um, I have here about uh, 25. And uh, in length, I have, forty-four here, okay? So twenty-five by forty-four. Oh, definitely, I know I'm going to be I'm taking out um, some excesses, okay? So, but this is what I'm working with. So I'm going to be creating my pleats now. But before that, you have to also take note of where you'll be placing this um, the draping. It's going to be along this side. So from here, this side. You know, this is the waist side. And when you are joining it to the back side, you are still going to be taking out some inches by the side. So, for instance, the the waist measurement is 28. So, what I have here now is, um, say, 15. So, 28 divided by 3 is 14, right? So, what I have here is 15, which means I'm going to be taking out 
half inch on both sides when I'll be joining it to the back piece. So I'll have it like this, right? Okay. So I'm going to be placing this, although the, the draping, I'll place it such a way that it starts from this point to not necessarily towards the end, but say to the dart line. I have a dart line here. The two dart line here, the center, there's a first dart line, then the second dart line towards this other side. So I'm going to make the draping to get from here to this dart line here. It's okay for me because even the flounce itself is going to also start from the center point. From the center point to say half inch before the closure. So what I mean is, for instance, this is going to be half inch closed up when you are sewing it in. So if I'm fixing my flounce, my flounce is going to start from the center towards, say, half inch away from where I'll be sewing it in, okay? So you find at the end of the day, my flounce is going to be overlapping um, the drape just at the edge, at the beginning part, right? Yes. But the first thing now is to create uh, this uh, draping. And in terms of the width, on this side, say from this um, skirt length here, I can go down to say about 12 to 15 inches okay so from the starter point here you can have you can have 15 inches you can let it start from here and stop at 15 inches which is okay yes at least between um, 12 and 15 inches is fine so what i'm going to do now is i'll just set this aside so i can create my pleat i don't necessarily have to do when i'm done creating it then i can place it on the fabric so um, for this draping this pleat now, I can actually do this on a straight line or I can also do it um, in a slanted form, okay? Yes, I can I can plate my tree this way. You know, slanted form, this is diagonally. I can make it this way. You can see me creating my pleat this way. You can see this, okay? But this is going to even consume much more or easier way better i will do it on a straight line so when i'm done you know pressing on the straight line then i will now you know slant it if i'm placing it on the fabric so very very easy you just need a little bit of patience doing this okay so i'm just going to carefully take my pleat as i pleat i hold it down with a pin so it's going to really really um, you know, require a lot of patience doing this, okay? So I keep holding down with a pin to really have this in place because of the nature of fabric I'm using. So this is the first piece I've created, then I'll go to the next one. You can see this. I'll hold it down. So I'm done with the second pleat. I'll move to the top. This is quite easy. All you need is just to, you know, take your time and carefully create a very neat pleat. Okay, you see what I'm doing? So you just follow the process. You keep doing this. You see, you keep doing this and holding it down with a pin. Just pick it not so much and not too tiny. You see, keep pleating and holding it down. Keep pleating and holding it down. So when you are done, you can now, you know, give it a good press so that it will be well relaxed. So you see, so once I get towards the ending, right? I'm going to take it in. Are you seeing it? You see the end part of it, the rough edges? I have to hide it inwards like this. You can see this. So this is what I'm going to do. So you can see I'm using my iron to do this directly. I didn't have to pin it down anyway. So whichever one you can want to do, you might want to just split it all down using your pin or you just, you know, um, create it immediately using the iron, just as you see me doing. So I'm just carefully 
doing this as i pick i take it all in you can see from the edges so this is what i'll keep doing till i get um towards the end i think using your iron to do this directly is is quite um you know easy right yeah so and as well just go straight up and use them your iron so just like i said when you get towards the end you would um, fold it all in okay you fold the end inwards can see this to give it the final um, pleats. I'm done creating all the pleats together. I'm just carefully, you know, trying to position all the pleats properly. So here we are done. So for me to have this properly in place, I'll just take it to my machine now and run a stitch towards the end and also at the other end as well. I'm going to do this first before I um, come to place it um, on my fabric. So for the flowers, I'm going to be putting in my plants from this center mark here to say half inches before the end of um, the upper part here. Remember, we are going to be sewing half an inch. So if I take it from here to that place, so I have seven inches. So I'll just stop at 6.5, okay? So, but now I need the length of my flare. So I, and I'm going to use like over 120 inches. Length. And how did I get that? I just did a rough estimate, okay? So I just assume, you know, my, my plant is going to be going like this. So I'm just, you know, just a rough estimate. I just sketch it this way with my tape rule towards the point where it's going to stop, which is going to be from here to like 16 to 18 inches. Okay, yes. So with that rough estimate, I have over 120. So that's what I'm going to work with. So in order to get um, a very full flare to give me that flounce effect, right? So that 120 inches I'm working with, I'm going to divide it into three or four. So I divide it into three, for instance, what I have is going to be um, 120 divided by 3. So I'm going to have 40. Then in order to get a circle, because we're going to cut in form of a circle, I'll divide it by 6.28, which is going to give me like approximately 6.4. I can just say 6.5. So that's the circumference I'm working with for one circle. Remember, it's going to be three circles, okay? I might end up doing three or four circles, okay? Because the more fuller the flare, the more effects we're going to achieve you know from the flowers yes so that's what i'm going to do uh 40 divided by um 6.28 then as for the the length of the flag i'm going to work with say 6.5 inches then remember i'm also going to cut out a lining for the flowers we're using the same fabric okay yes so um and I'll, at the lower part i will also hem it right with about half an inches there about so I'll add that extra allowances to whatever length I'm working with. So let's say 6.5 plus half inch, that's going to be around 7 inches. So I'll be cutting out 7 inches in length for my flare. Okay, yes, for my flare or the flounce. So I'll work 7 inches plus the circumference I'm working with 6.5 inches. So here I have this display fabric. For instance, I have this folded into 4 already, folded into, into another uh, 2 again. So here... This is going to give me at least two, two circles. So what I'm going to do now, remember we had approximately 6.4. I just approximated to 6.5. So I'll use it to mark my circumference. So like this, I'll get 6.5 all the way. 
okay so if i have 6.5 here remember the length i said we're working with like seven inches so if i work i think i should move this forward a bit so i can get um, what i want so i'll take it again i'll mark my 6.5 inches for my circumference Then I'll mark the length of the flounce. I set seven inches. Let me just make it uh, seven and a half. So I'll take it from here. I have 14, so I'll take 14 all the way. Remember I said we're going to be cutting out um, three flounce, I mean three circles. So I'm taking 14 all the way. I'll be cutting this out. So I'm still going to be cutting out another circle. So here I have two circles. So you can see this. I have two circles here. I'll be splitting it all into two. So this, I'm going to split it open and I'll be joining it all together. These two, then when I cut another one, if I'm going to make it four, I'll join all piece together. So this is going to give me um, my flowers. And like I said, I'm also going to cut out um, the line in two, okay? The same fabric I will use. So what I'm going to do is to cut out the extra piece I need join it all together and turn it out with the lining okay so once i'm done i'll have a very long piece then of course i'll come back to show you how to place it on the fabric alongside um the draped the pleated um piece which i'm using for the draping as well okay yes so you can see i'm done with the pleats so in order to have this properly relaxed i had to put in um, a hemming gum in between Okay, to have it really relaxed this way. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do now is to position it the proper way it needs to be. So remember, I'm using this second dart line as a guideline. And also the length from here, we said should be at least between 12 to 15 inches. So I have 15 inches uh, marked here as a guide. So I'm going to place it this way. So like I said, I'm going to be slanting it. And don't forget... This closed part is going to be inside, okay? Yes, because this outer part, we're definitely going to be trimming out some edges on both sides. So here it should be on the inside, okay? So I'm slanting it now. Slanting it such a way that one end point is going towards the direction of the four, um, this dart line here at the upper part, and also at the length on this other side as well. So you just have to carefully position this so that you get it um, well. And also to have that um, slant um, effect. So having in mind that um, our flounce is actually going to be overlapping this. That's at, at this part. Okay, not totally. The flounce is coming in 6.5 inches, right? So it's definitely a part of it is going to overlap in this way till it goes down. Okay, yeah. So now that I have it the way I want it, I'm just going to use my pin and hold it down and um, so that I can, you know, trim out the excesses. I have to be patient doing this. So now that I have this um, in place, using my pin to hold it down, so what I will do now I'm just going to go to my machine and run a stitch at the edges so that I can have it in, you know, you know, well placed. I'm going to run a stitch at the better still. You can turn it to the other side so that you will see where you will be stitching. Okay, so if you see from the other side, I'm going to be stitching at this edge, just all the, the parts where I have the draping. I'm also going to take this down here, okay, just at the edges. So once I'm done, then I'll trim out. Um, the excesses, okay? Yes, I'll trim out the excesses. So I'll go do that. So I'm here, guys. I'm done um, 
sewing this all together you can see this well placed so what i'm going to do now is just to trim these excesses here following this shape so i'm just going to trim that later on okay so the next thing now is for me to you know fix in the flounce and so here i've turned this all out um, with the lining um it's better to use the same fabric that's the same exact fabric for the lining it's actually better but in this case i didn't um have enough of um, this fabric so i had to get another one but just a, a, a different shade just a little bit of um just a slight difference in the color shade okay so that's what i used to line it as well instead of using um, an ordinary lining and also with the edges okay preferably use this um the color preferably use the color of the fabric to also you know with the edges so what i will do now is to start and um, placing my flounce. Remember, I said we're going to be starting from the center, that's the center of this skirt, to half inch away from where we'll be folding it. We'll be folding it, we'll be sewing it both sides with half an inch. So I'm going to stop my flounce at least half inch towards the end there, okay? It shouldn't be exactly, you know, um, at the end, okay? So I'm just going to, you know, fold it this way. And what I calculated from here to here, I have about 6.5. Okay, so I'm just going to place it from here. See, I'm folding it into two first at the first stage. Okay, so it's quite long. So here I have um, over 140 actually. Initially, I calculated 120, but I ended up having 140. So um, depending on how you want it, you can actually, you know, stop at any length you want and maybe trim out the excesses. Or you can choose to you know utilize it or whichever one you want so what i'll do is just to carefully create this um, flounce effect you know and um, you you need a little bit of patience in doing this okay so here it's important to also like have it properly in place uh, before you start maybe pinning it down or something so you can see and also with all as you are doing this you will also be hiding the edges inside, more like the top part is going to be overlapping the lower part, right? So I'm just um, carefully create my flounce. So there are some parts where I had seam lines because I had to join flares together. So I, I try so hard to also hide it inwards, okay? So that you don't have it showing on top. So you see what I'm doing? Making sure that these edges are hidden inside. As I go this way, I take it all in and make sure it's tucked inside. You can see this. So we just keep doing this. Till you, you keep doing this till you get to your desired length. So depending on how you want it, if you notice that as I keep going down, the length, the width is reducing. It all depends on you. You can make it equal, you can make it smaller, whatever it is you want. Just play around with what you want. The most important thing is having your flounce in place. Initially, I wanted to stop um, at the new length, so somewhere around 16 to 17 inches, okay? But I feel that I should, you know, still take it down. Okay, so like I said, it all depends on what you want and the length where you want your, you know, your flowers to get to. So you can see this. You can see from the top to the length. So I've actually utilized this. So this is just how you create this okay so i'll still have to adjust this properly okay so this is just an illustration so you see how it's actually done i'll still have to adjust this properly you know maybe to uh, make it to be more um aligned and all that okay so once i'm done with this what you are going to do now is to take your pin and at every point where you have it just carefully pin it all down so that you have it in place so when you are done with that 
then you can use um, your needle and thread to tack it all okay or you can also take it to the sewing machine and carefully you know do that if you can do that okay so um preferably i might want to use a needle and thread for this okay so that um i don't have it all moving around and all that okay yeah so that's it guys so once i'm done having it in place at your desired length then at this top part i will also sew it down then after that after i must have also trimmed these excesses here then i can now uh, place the upper part of this dress and you know sew it all up okay so that will be it you can see um the draping and the flounce is ready okay so that's it guys on how to uh, make this beautiful piece and, and that brings us to the end of today's tutorial thank you so much guys for for watching if you find this video helpful please go ahead and um, like my videos okay share i will appreciate it a lot um also if you have not subscribed to my channel please do i will also appreciate it once again thank you to all my subscribers for always supporting me and stopping by as well until um, i see you on the next video have a beautiful day